So look, all the speculation, Joe, was that it was going to be Amy Coney Barrett. And in the end, that's exactly who the president picked. In her remarks in the Rose Garden, as the president unveiled his selection for the Supreme Court, Barrett linked herself with Judge Antonin Scalia, of course, a conservative icon. Here's what she said. I clerked for Justice Scalia more than 20 years ago, but the lessons I learned still resonate. His judicial philosophy is mine too. A judge must apply the law as written. Judges are not policymakers, and they must be resolute in setting aside any policy views they might hold. Now, Senate Republicans, Joe, have said that they're going to start the confirmation hearing process on October the 12th. That gives a very, very tight window, but they think they're confident they'll be able to do this and have her approved for the bench uh, before the election. We'll see if that holds up and if there are any wavering Republicans out there. Right now, it looks like they do have the votes. And meanwhile, we saw Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi on television yesterday on CNN saying that she is working with Treasury Secretary Mnuchin on another COVID stimulus bill. She said, they're at $2.4 trillion on the Democratic side. Uh, she said they may have a bill that they put on the House floor this week that would be the Democratic priorities and vote on that. But she said what she'd prefer to do is actually have a negotiation and have a deal with Republicans and, and put something on the floor that could get both Democratic and Republican votes maybe as early as this week. We'll see if that holds together. That's a relatively optimistic time frame, Joe, given the struggles that both sides have had in finding concessions to, to meet in the middle here. Uh, Pelosi on CNN y yesterday uh, was sort of debating even where the middle is, right? And she's saying that she doesn't want to come down any further uh, to meet the Republicans at a smaller bill because of the scale of the problem. So that's been the crux of this negotiation all along, and we'll see whether they can do anything about it. All of that happening this week. Also, we've got the CR debate. We've got the uh, presidential debate coming up this week. We've got that jobs report coming up uh, and the Supreme Court nomination fight. It's going to be a fascinating week in Washington, Joe.